So he dropped the, he dropped his weapon thingy. Dual Nicoderma swords. No, this is not it. It was something else. Um, what is it? Huh? A gun? A weapon assembled by the Nicoderma teleportation technology. These weapons have attacked uses permanent energy. It's an acid weapon. And I need a lot of science for this. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No, okay, good for me. Oh, I ran out of points already, technically. I couldn't level up anymore. You know what? Fuck that noise, I don't care. <laughs> Fuck that noise, I don't care. Because I think if I fight the boss again, I get a lot less dull points. Technically, if I want, I can get this weapon now if I have the parts. But let me try my drill Lucy. <laughs> Okay, I'm not losing humanity. No, wait, I actually might... Oh, okay, I don't lose my humanity thing. Huh? This is not a Drilusi, man. I, I know my Drilusis. Okay, there it is. Sorry, my Drilusi. Oh, look at the awesome technical beam. Uh, look at all the armors I'm crafting. This one looks awesome. Which one is this? Did I never craft tier 3 for you? Oh no, I don't. Maybe I have to do the I'll, I'll like get the other rank. I'm trying to save like different things while unlock. It doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, it's not the case at all. I don't know what this armor is. It looks cool, but apparently you can't access this. You know what? Since I'm here, I'm just gonna try and craft all the armors possible. I mean, I know what's gonna happen, like, I just crapped the armor, but I wanna see if, like... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, like, it, like if you craft all of them, they unlock something special. It feels like they should, giving, they should, they should like, be giving the player, like, slick armor. A lot of these look, like, very tanky with nothing to show for. Ah, this already is covering my butt. Already bad armor. This one was already covering the butt at level 1. At level 2, it's already covering the butt again. Actually, it's covering the butt a lot less, I think. So, so, what is this? I think... I think there's armor missing from the game. Really? Oh, wow, is this an unfinished game? I think it is. Man, the balls on some people to sell unfinished games for money, how dare you? Uh, this is the armor, this is the Kantepi, this is the drill, this is the Zoan. Uh, this is, I have no idea, I think it's like something that's missing from the game. You then have this unique armor that's not available in the game, unless it's New Game Plus. Then you have the second tier drill, the second tier Nikki, and the second tier human. Um... And there is here and here missing. Unless it's a secret. But the armors were not secret so far. General Viz is... The harder boss is worth less. Unbelievable. Okay. You know what? Just spend the points, I guess. I don't care. If the, if the developers were too lazy to like fix all the content, I'm too lazy to even bother. This, this also gives me a chance to do something I wanted to do for a while. Um, 200 weapons. You guys seem to be the best, although you're slightly slower. Okay, let me go with the fast one. I can also experiment with different weapons now. 100% um, attack speed. I can't see... okay. Yeah, you know what? Just craft everything. Um... Huh? I'm sorry? Wait a second, what the... Um... Wait, what? Hold on! I only have... Um... Huh? Oh my god, the unique weapons! I can only craft them once! The ones that are like side mission rewards because there's only like enough parts to craft them once and if you don't upgrade them with the bonuses, you can't craft them again! 
Oh, wow, my, my dudes, this is... My dudes, did... What happened here? I gave you compliments at the start and I regret it. I can't believe this. Some of these weapons only drop once. Some of these weapons only drop once. Some of these also... I would appreciate if you guys, like, wrote down what kind of weapon this is. You know what I mean? Like, is it... Is it two-handed, one-handed? Half of the time the information is just, like, whatever. Also, what's the damage on this? 168 versus the usual 120 on the axe. That's only, like, nothing. Oh, no, they're sterilizing me. Huh? Oh, you can't break turrets. These are turrets, okay. I'm faster than a turret rotating. Ah, nothing here. I risk my I risk my life for no reason. <laughs> can't see what you can't see, bitch. 140. 140. Um. Um. Yeah? I mean, it's definitely an improvement, but I mean, not by that much. What about you? Uh, by the way, what about this unique sword? <laughs> Is this a broken weapon? Yeah, attack speed, I guess, is king again. Okay, so now I understand why the game... What, they're not broken? Like me? Okay, so now I understand why in the game the upgrade system on the weapon barely matters. Now I understand. Because the developers understood they... But you see, this is stupid. You could very easily solve this problem. It's so fucking easy. I don't mean that arrogantly. This is so fucking easy to solve, man. The developers are just lazy at this point. Come on. This is so easy to fix. Just make it blueprints. You collect two blueprints, you can craft the weapon as many times as you want. That's the solution. Wow, this is why the weapons suck. And they rely on the we on the levels of the of the player character to grow the weapon damage. This is reason. Oh my god, lock on, thank you. There we go. Sixty-four. Um. Yeah, actually, not the shotgun. It seems like everything right now relies between. Man, please stop dodging. This is not the type of game where you should be allowed to dodge. Yeah, let me try great sword actually. Oh, the sword of the gods. Why are you bleeding, little one? Wait a second! Is this the reason this weapon exists? It's, it's just in case the player fucks up, because look at the damage value on this. It's like so much greater than I think even like the great swords. Yeah, it is. Um, it's in case the player fucks up the... what do you call it? Uh, the, the build. They have a backup weapon. <laughs> Yeah, is it faster as well? Oh my god! Wow! Wow, okay, so this is an unfinished game. Oh, oh my god, I don't think I've played a single Souls-like in the past year that has been finished. I'm not even joking about that. Every single one of them is unfinished. Apparently, I'm a woman let with these giant computers. Um, so do I have a fire weapon at least? Huh? No, I have like all these shitty fire weapons that do nothing. Why- why is fire weapons, like, so much weaker? 
Oh no, it's a cage where apparently they have like prison lights because animals understand red prison lights in a cage, you know? Animals are well known for. You know, uh, fun fact, when I used to study uh, Dology, which is biology, when I used to study it, um, one of my teachers used to say this. Uh, she said, Animals are just like humans. Animals are excellent at understanding control. Animals wish for control, they vibe for it. Oh wow, the attack time sucks on these weapons. Yeah, um, it, it sucks. I need... I, I need to press like really fast to do a combo, otherwise it doesn't do it. Oh, is this not the exit thingy? Oh, I'm supposed to follow the tube. Oh, see, it's a good game because they show you where you need to go with the tube system. See, there's a just there's just a computer in a room connected to a giant tube that's connected to a door because that's how technology work. Oh, this. Oh, I think both doors open. Hold on, do I have like a not a big weapon, just anything for eyes? One thirty four. <laughs> oh, wow, they're really struggling. <laughs> Why do these things look like my spore characters? Does it have an eye on its ass as well? Remember that sword, like, I upgraded it like a lot. This is like the basic axe. The difference between an upgraded sword and everything and and like a boss weapon and just the starting weapon is like literally 20 damage. Oh, like with all the full upgrades and the extra damage, it's like only 40 more damage. It's such a zero point sum game. The moveset on the axe, these weapons, this moveset is so boring, so basic, but it's the most functional one. Actually, you know what? I might as well go with the two-handed big sword. Why not? And put a shield here? Oh god, look at the Mixamo running animation with a two-handed sword. <laughs> As one executive came to inspect the biosphere and asked many questions, he seemed especially curious about Dr. Loboja's procedures, or maybe for her. As if we know what that mad woman does down there. They asked to report all creatures. What? They asked for a report of all the creatures kept. Good for you, what can I do about that, huh? I don't even have a fire... fire weapon. Not fire weapon, a fire. What what could you call it? A fire gun? Well, so so I had no reason to at all spend any points in anything. I could have just gotten like a few like three strength and got the best weapon in the game. The the star of humanity. Is is this what Jesus used to use back in the day? It even consumes less stamina. Man, what the <laughs> When I when I said when I said uh, a weapon that doesn't need scaling and all get all that kind of stuff, I I meant a weapon that you work towards, you know, you build, not that you just randomly get somewhere. You know, that'll be the equivalent of like just picking up the the reinforced club plus ten at the start of the game. Yep, even the basic attack just has the heavy attack modifier on it. The Jewel of the Stars! The strongest weapon to pierce the heavens! I am untouchable until the boss fight. Cat. <laughs> I stopped my doll jokes. Man, don't remind me. I don't have any more doll jokes left inside me. I, I can do plenty of doll jokes within the first hour of starting the stream. But, but, you know, if the game is, like, gonna shit in my face every time, at, at a certain point, I'm like, why should I even bother? Oh, look at the, look at the, what do you call it? The, the, the D-frame attack. Special sword technique number one. D-slash. Imagine if there was, like, hidden armor. No, honestly, fuck you, man. I can't imagine that. That would be such a stupid thing to do. Why would you hide armor from the player? If armor doesn't matter. 
Well, you're not the Ascended Mod author, which like hides the special, most powerful armor in the game and then it's still useless. Tarvus here! <laughs> Who's Tarvus? Why does it sound so casual? Tarvus here! He killed everyone! He talks about Fahani, about the great purpose, and he wants Dolmen! <laughs> he wants the Dolmen! I sent a message to the corporation authorizing for emergency protocol. Destroy Raven Prime and Dolmen before the Tarvus manages to cross his armies. I repeat, destroy Ravion Prime. There's no use, use sending anyone, it will not stop. What do you mean, it won't stop? It will not sp What do you mean, it will won't stop? Stop me, Dolmen. Stop, stop the Dolmens. I'm getting the information through your suit. Let me see. Damn it. Tharvis found out the invasion was called off and is reprogramming the crystals to open portals randomly. If he can't conquer us, he will destroy us. Huh? I can eliminate the target in a few minutes. Try to interfere with his comms. No, wait. The control system is on the Nicoderma side. I can't send any messages without a dolmen overload in the exact same frequency. What are my orders? The control system is reading the information directly from his brain. He must be in some sort of trance, like <laughs> the hunter. Use the biggest dolmen crystal you have to overload their communications. <laughs> I'll use your suit to send the self-destruct signals while Tharvis is still in shock. Send the strongest dolmen to take down a dolmen! Uh, compliments to the... assuming they don't use AI. Uh, major compliments to the voice actors for taking this... everything about this game so seriously. No, seriously, compliment to them. I would have never put that effort in. Okay, the Nikki Boom! A funny name for a funny weapon. Let's see if this fire weapon actually works. And I want to make sure no armor upgrades at any point. And I think I also crafted all the armor parts. Just want to check. Yeah, so I think the sword is the most powerful sword in the in the universe. By the way, why is my screen so blurry now? Yep, I fully out, I I got all the armors as well. All the parts. Man, what am I gonna do now? If I fight the final boss and win, what what am I gonna do with my life? I was planning on, on making my entire channel dedicated to the Dolmen franchise, but you know, like it's gonna be like Half-Life 3 at this point. It's never gonna come out, is it? There's only so many Dolmens we can get before you know humanity like can't Dolmen anymore. You see, the Dolmen franchise is a very delicate franchise. You can't simply create as many Dolmens as you want. Oh my god! Holy shit! It took like another four hours, but I did it! I'm back, I'm back to the beam in the sky! Um, what do you think the bo I, You know what, I bet the boss is weak against acid, I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, but before I say anything else, let me just pull out my Nikki Boom. Yep, that's a Boom all right. What, what, what is the closest acid weapon I have? The, the giant sword, except you know it's like shit. D does it, does it say, like, what it gives me these weapons, by the way? If you pay attention, it just says physical, right? I think you need to look under abilities to see what kind of damage it does. Oh no, it subtracts and adds flame strike. Okay, I'm looking for acid. Other than the acid axe, what do I have? You, dimensional swords. And the giant sword that is worse. And that's about it, wow. Okay, time, to <laughs> time for the dolmets to finish this. One dolmen shall rise, the other shall fall. It cut so it dumbled the gods. Are you imposing on me? Tarvus keep! Ah! He's strong! Ah! 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 It's taken. How much damage are you. T oh, he's not building up anything. Never mind. To the dormants! On this day! Ow! Oh, look at the Dolman Lord! Oh, oh, the trackings! 
Not today, the Lord. More like the Lord. You may bring down the Dolmans, but I was forged in it, crafted within the Dolmans. Easy on the hitboxes, man. Oh, the spears of Dolman! Ah! Ah, he got me! My timeline has been erased. Sorry, derased. Dolazed. What is he to everything? Ah, when I die, my buff thingy is offline. Okay, I know what the problem was here. I was having too much fun. So, very sorry about that. Let's just go to the basic acid gun. How about that, huh? It's not much, but it's honest work, honestly. Your empire may be strong, but it corrodes easily. Look at the corrosion within. I don't have enough energy to, like, do the dull acid. That's right, the lord! Oh, the dull spears! Oh no, what happened? Oh, the dull spears everywhere! Come on, rot from the inside. Come on, doll. Come on, Tarvis doll keeper. You're no true heir to the draw. Sorry, doll, not true. Man, that's a lot of spears, man. Ah! Oh! I couldn't dodge there for some reason because I kept on aiming and unaiming. Um, so how are you supposed to build up, like, things on him? Is he not acid? Sorry, doll Sid? More like doll style. Ah, you have inferior acid buildup. What? Um. Actually, yeah, let's try ice again. I don't know why, you know, one dollman is too many dollmans when the dollman dollman so hard that he... No, he's ice weak, definitely. The power of the dolmans! Ah! Now I know what I need to do. I can't rely on, on just shooting him anymore. I have to evolve. I have to become better. Ah! My doll mines! Ah! I have to become stronger. I have to evolve. He can go around corners with his doll skills. I know. Activate acid reactor! Ah! Let me doll zoom! Ah! Come on! Ah! Not fast enough. Ah! Dull acid! It's not building up fast enough! Get out! Get out! Ah! He's fighting back! Ah! He's not stopping all this bloom that I can barely see the attacks! He knows my weakness vision! If you're so great like your empire, then how can it fail? We may be a weak link, but we're not that weak! Ha! This is the day the Dolmans fight! Ah, he's recovering. My time to recover too. His, his doll spears are falling down from the sky! Oh, he has so many doll spears! Come on! Ha! Dolmans shall never fall! Ah! We're no simple puppets! Come on! Come on! Hold on, hold on! Let me just run away! Doll, doll tactics! I need just some time. I need to lock on so my eyes don't die. The spears! The doll energy! Easy doll don't dwell in! Oh! Doll soul tree! The spears of the dolls, huh? Come on! Ah! Come on! Ha! Activate! Now's the time! Ah! He's still going at it! So much energy! So many left power levels inside him! That's right, keep on going with your spears, doll boy! Because guess what? I'm a doll woman! I'm a doll woman! Come on! Doll powers! Is that the best you got, doll boy? Oh no! He's still down! The doll amplification! 
We're too dull late! The dull apocalypse! The dull ventures! Oh no! Dull command! Dull command! He's summoning them! We need the dull nuke right now! That's a dull tentacle! Whoa, take it easy! We're, in, we're not in dull Japan! The Dottolo. Wait, yes, the Dull generator is breaking. Oh no, the Dull GPX, the Dull VFX. Ah, uh, Dull error. Oh no, the door gen door baby squids. Sorry for the inhospitable accommodations, Commander. But we have to make sure we don't leave traces of Dolman on your body. No. The board believes that we should erase all evidence of what happened on Revion Prime. You know to avoid consequences for the death of so many drillers under our responsibility. No. Oh. I was emphatic in saying that the company's interests are above any diplomatic or racial barrier. For our next contract, I hope you can build a team. See you later. All oh, the dolphins! Finally! This is the day! Dolman's Rise! Are we ready, Doll Squad? My Doll Sword is clipping in the dolls. <laughs> That's not me, by the way! Why? Why are you wearing my outfit? Um, can I just... I, I just want to point this out if anyone goes back in the video. Uh, please watch the explosion. Literally, the, the smoke was edited wrong. They were clipping the smoke. Porting team, man, what porting team? Um, wow, okay. Well, G to the G, thank you so much, Dolman. What am I gonna do with my life right now? I honestly thought the rest of my life I'd spend with the Dolmans. By the way, is there a new game plus or not? You can tell a game was not finished if there's no new game plus. No, the game was actually not finished. Um, I'm gonna guess this boss drops like 44,000 XP. Well, doll points. Huh? Oh, is he dead? What's the... What? Ah, I could have used this! I thought I would, like, die if I touched it. See, the power of doll vaginas. <laughs> Sorry, doll camel toes. You know, we gotta be respectful for the doll women. There's nothing sexier than a doll camel toe. <laughs> You know, it's like a portal to a mystical world. Okay. Oh man, that was such a shit show at the end. I mean, the boss fight was ridiculously easy because I found this ward and I just decided to use the buff thingy at this point. By the way, my thing has not recovered still. Uh, that's what she said. Um, but yeah. God, what a shit show. So the bosses, after you kill them, they give on average about... Uh, one fourth or one third of the original XP when you respawn them. Again, feels like the developers missed a lot of things from Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. And also that very abrupt ending, but you know. What can we do in life, huh? Also, what does this guy help me create? Like the final boss. By the way, I don't know why you, you'd like create that. I don't know why they don't even have like a new game plus. I can create his drum rolls, please. Um... Oh, he drops the same material as, as the other boss! In order to create that spear... spear gun weapon. This is so stupid, why? Yeah, yeah, they rushed this game, they rushed it. 
they they absolutely rushed this game they they were 100 rushed this game you like some of these things are so big you know and that's what she said j toj thank you dollman much appreciated thank you thank you thank you let's see load game doll women female recruit level 108 and about 11 hours give or take 11 hours with me experimenting a lot of things which i'm pretty sure nobody else took the time to do and everything in the game is superficial and g to a g drum rolls please how big do you think the game was taking all taking it all going once going twice going three times going ten times uh master opening female what is master opening female oh this this cutscene yeah a lot of cutscenes that are in the game but they made a video out of it i'm not exactly sure why and apparently there's a 30 fps of the movie end game movie oh you don't even need to complete the game here's the movie if you want to rip it or something okay uh so let's see how big was the game the game was 7 gigabytes. This is a big game. This is a big game for a lot of superficial stuff. I know why the game is big, you know, let's not beat around the bush as they say in some places. The game was big because of all the artwork. Now I'm not gonna say the artwork is assets because I don't think it is. A at least I don't think it is a lot of it. I haven't seen the models definitely. You know what I mean? I haven't seen these models anywhere else. For example, I think the guns and the character are original models. And then there's a lot of assets other places, which again is fine. Uh, but unfortunately, the problem with the game isn't that. The problem with the game is that it is... It is very superficial. Everything is superficial. Uh, to the point where they just essentially put a sword. An OP sword. So the player doesn't get stuck because they completely fucked up everything in relation to the system. Uh, this seat, I haven't seen it, so I think it's original. Again, unfortunately, this is just like that other game, Edo. Uh, the, what do you call it, the ninja game? Well, the samurai game, the, the, the side-scroller samurai game where... That you have to keep on switching, uh, you have to keep on switching visions. And the game was really boring and broken and unbalanced and unfocused and all the art was wasted because whoever was in charge of like the engine part didn't didn't put things in correctly or they over exaggerated what they're trying to do. Uh so yeah, it's one of those games again unfortunately. Ray tracing, fake glass, whatever, player gear. All these wonderful yeah, I think these are original. The reason I'm saying that is because a lot of it has that weird soft edge, hard edge thing. Which I recognize at first glance from ZBrush. I'm gonna guess this was like an earlier version of ZBrush that they were using. Or they didn't have the latest version. Because I know the latest version that improved like hard surface modeling. Usually this is what I'll do. You know, like take a pinch brush, pinch it around the corners and call it a day. Skeletal meshes. 27, yeah. So this is the base body. Uh, male character. Yeah, base body. Drillers, the NPC. Driller boy, who's driller boy? Huh. Oh, these were supposed to be... Oh, the mallets are supposed to be children? God, what deformed children. Good thing they died. Driller in half. Oh uh, yeah, these poses. Again, I don't think these are assets. Uh, driller woman. Uh, yeah. Sh <laughs> really focusing on the ass, are we? By the way, is this the T-pose from ZBrush? I'm not sure driller hole make us whole again. Oh, the dead guys. Who's Sugo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the Nicodermas are supposed to be these these parasitic looking guys then honestly i i think i think they might have made a mistake with the translation with like at least two characters that make me confuse oh equipment armors pre-order oh that's pre-order armor are you serious oh my god 
my dudes, this game barely has content. What are you hiding pre-order armor for? Zone Exos. Oh my god, this was pre-order armor! Wow, this is so stupid! My dudes, when your game barely has any quality control, and it's barely polished, and it barely has content that's like meaty, I mean, come on, at least have some self-respect and don't make pre-order armor. Or at least make it available to, like... By the way, this doesn't matter because in Unreal games, it's so easy to unlock the pre-order armor if anybody has the time to do it. You just have to expose the armor uh, through a .ini file, and that's it. So I don't even know what the point of this is. So, okay, so I did unlock all the armors. I wasted time trying to unlock the pre-order armor that I didn't know. Why is it over there, then? Uh, ancient Sword, Ancient Sword. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Driller in Fortus. Okay, so there was another weapon that apparently I missed, or maybe I needed the part to drop. I'm not sure. Ancient Ancient Carlot and Ancient Sword. What's the difference? Okay, this is the Ancient Sword that I had. Ancient Carlot. Oh, it's the same. Okay, let's see what else. Driller Shield, Driller. Okay, so so these guys don't have a don't have a shield. The Nikiderma don't have a shield. Nikiderma spear. Okay, this is what, like, I think that was, like, the last weapon I couldn't be bothered. Crafting. Uh, human Sentinel Shield. Uh, she uh, sorry, Spear. Okay, apparently there were, like, more stuff that were not in the game. Kickstarter Zone Axe! I'm sorry, this game was on Kickstarter? Oh, wow, I'm gonna eat well today. I'm gonna really make fun of people today. <laughs> wow, another Kickstarter game that they didn't finish! What is it with all these Kickstarter games that they steal money from people and don't finish their games? What is this? Again, this game is very broken because this fire shotgun, uh, you need all the pellets to connect just for it to do the same amount of damage as a rifle. And apparently a lot of enemies near the end of the game were not weak against fire anymore. Cool looking gun, but I'm not sure if the player can get this one. Again, as I keep on mentioning this, it seems like there's a lot of art effort in the game. The polygons aren't too bad, necessarily. I mean, it's, it's a little bit too high poly, but the game was running fine, so it's not a problem. Unfortunately, whoever was in charge of the engine ruined it for everybody else. Pito Plasma. Oh yeah, this gun, I think, that was like doll, doll vagina, I guess. Yeah, it's this, like, that was gonna shoot acid, I think. Pre-order axe! Huh. <laughs> Oh, wow, look how cool it is. It must be really strong. Pre-order Greatsword. This game had pre-order content. Wow, the balls on these people. It seems like a lot of these weapons were not available to the player, and the star dueling Greatsword, because the developers didn't know how to bounce the game, so they put in something in case the player gets stuck, I guess. If they fuck up their build, because they couldn't even... Uh, by the way, I just want to make this clear. The game is literally using a blueprint. I can 100% thousand guarantee you that. And I think it's a blueprint from Elementite and Code Vein and uh, Curse of, not Curse of Eternity, but I think Curse of Eternity was in the Unity engine. But like, it was very similar to those systems because you can't respec. It didn't have a like automatic respec system. The developers had to make it, but they didn't. It is what it is, unfortunately. Doman! Doman is a terrifying new action RPG that combines futuristic sci-fi and cosmic horror elements. Uh, will your timeline will your timeline be erased or will you defeat your enemies to survive and fulfill your mission? I like how there's already a spelling mistake here. And also, what has this got to do with the order? 49% uh, 49, 49 of the reviewers uh, are positive. It's a mixed rating. Um, it came out in, like, about a year ago, I guess. Massive Work Studio, that's the developer, and the publisher is Prime Matter. I've seen these guys before. Um. Ha! These are the publisher who put out System Shock, okay. And all these other games. These are just the publisher. Uh, Massive Work Studio is the developer. Compared to the Souls-like formula, of course, nothing else is new, honestly. 
Don't man cast player into a hostile world known as Revion Prime. Your job bring back samples of a crystal with particularly unique properties, the so-called Dol Man. Right, I completely forgot about that, because even the game did. The crystals are capable of allowing interaction between realities. And that's about it. I don't know why this is a thing here. Because it definitely doesn't use in the gameplay elements. Dynamic combat. In Dolman, you'll grow stronger with each battle. No, not really. Shut up. Experience a rich combat system with various weapons and moves at your disposal. No, not really. Again, you're lying. It's a game where you have like three movesets. Or four. And all the weapons share them. And then like you just, you know, the attack speed is what changes. Switch natively. I guess not foreignly. Between melee and ranged combat to overcome the most challenging enemies Revion Prime has to offer. Energy mode. Energy management is key to victory in Dolmen. If you say so, I guess. That's why you made it so shit. Energy is not only used for ranged weapon, but also for activating energy mode. Energy mode imbues your melee weapons with elemental state effect, letting you take full advantage of your enemy's weaknesses. The entire game is built around this, and yet they made energy completely useless. Because it either doesn't build up, or... The weapon has to be rebuffed with it. And if you do two hits, you're already running out of energy. You basically need to... You need to gouge out your points. This is a game where by the end of the game, you need to be around level 100 to have fun with it. Otherwise, this entire thing here, energy mode, it's barely survivable. There's like no... Basically, instead of making interesting stuff like energy efficiency stuff, it's just a game where like everything is like plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two. That's it. There's no synergy with the main element of the game, energy mode. Um, at least it runs on everything, so that's good. Um, oh boy, these are not good reviews. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's look at the updates. Uh, Dolman on July. Let's see. Um, balance changes. Uh, it's not possible to skip cutscenes while still loading the game anymore. Um, I think they did this because the developers couldn't figure out how to stop the enemy attacking the player during the during like the blank loading screen or whatever during the cutscene. Boss Zalan keeps rewards will be properly shown after defeating him. What do you mean by properly shows? Please define that. Half of the things, half of the reward screen doesn't work. Reward for boss, uh, boss Faring Hammer. Uh, Farrington Nightmare are now given after its cutscene. Oh, okay, you could miss out on on rewards, excellent. Visibility for the Great Sword were fixed. If running when using a large armor at some camera angles, the weapon was being made invisible. What do you mean by large armor? What has the sm what? How does a sword become invisible if you have large armor? Reward skin for the boss general Vizip respawn option is now fixed. Player loading in the game, wrong place, in case of shutdown, while in the middle of respawn, boss from the ship is now fixed. A lot of fixes, a lot of fixes. Multiplayer fixes. Fix, 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 fix. There's a lot of fixes here. They're talking about sales. Okay, uh, an update. Um, these have be like come out, like, yeah. L let's say less than a month later. Uh, responding boxes, faster loading of pre-order armor on the select screen. <laughs> Huh? Remove cinematic quality from the setting menu, kill the queen as host multiple was blocking the game. Blah blah blah. Fix, 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 fix. Improvements. No requirements to domain Christmas for crystals for joining multiplayer sessions. Okay. So you had to pay first in order to multiplayer with people in this game. Interesting choice. A confirmation of customization done inside ship. Uh, remove detail slider bar from customization. Um, interesting, apparently they removed the detail thing of the armors for some reason. I guess that's why a lot of armors look bad. Improve shield stability so they can be more effective in late game. Yeah, only a couple, I guess. Reduce stamina cost to run, and yet the running animation is so slow it doesn't matter. matter. Slightly increase stamina regeneration speed. Um, if that's slightly increase, it's barely noticeable, honestly. And Kickstarter backers. Where's the Kickstarter? I want to see the Kickstarter. Kickstarter, Kickstarter. Oh, I think I found it. Is it this one? <laughs> okay, time to make fun of people, I guess. Interesting choice. So the developers just, uh, they released a game. 
I don't know what kind of uh, like feedback they're taking. They just released the game. They took a lot out of Code Vein or whatever, and they released like two patches, and that's it. Um, so so they just they just were bug fixing for about a month. They didn't even get around to actually doing any balance changes. These are not balance changes. I don't know what these are, but these are not balance changes. Especially considering like some of the UI shows other things and other things don't. Um, I can look at the discussion. Man, there's so much to look at about this game, honestly. I don't know where to start, but yeah, th like they basically didn't do anything with the balance. I don't know what they're talking about. They they basically didn't start like touch the, the game at all. Um, and apparently someone put an ultra white fix already for the game. What are the people saying in the in the Steam forums? What are they asking for? James Jr., the beautiful, says, It's amazing how this game hasn't changed one bit. It's still a broken max of cleanliness. Des put up a lot of updates. Not really, only two. The rest of them were like Kickstarter thing. Unless people had access to Kickstarter, in which case I would agree, but I don't know about that. So apparently they put up two mediocre updates that are just fixing the game, including fixing the multiplayer where you had to pay in-game currency to use it. And uh, none of them took care of the actual issues. That is because James Jr., unfortunately, I don't think the developers knew what they're doing. I don't think the developers knew how to balance something. Because everything was a mess. Like, for example, if you fuck up something as basic as the weapon upgrade system, the developer is locked into not doing anything with it. Because, you know, what can they do at that point? That's my question. Especially, you know, like, like, like there are some weapons you can only craft once. And everything has to scale off your stats. And then you have these little things that you apply and it gives like plus five damage. It's a mess. Because the underlying structure, unfortunately, it would require all of it to be balanced again. And the developers aren't going to do that. They don't care enough to do it. Game is essentially broken by design. Yes, it is. Especially, like, you know, I, I explained all of it. Like, especially the fire weapon at the end. See, Kalamit is, is a good psychic dragon, it understands. Oh, apparently it was like that since the Kickstarter phase. I can understand now why this guy is not happy. Because apparently the developer... Made the game as it is since Kickstarter and never fixed it with all the patches. Okay, I see. Yeah, no, yeah, this game is not finished. Uh, the game is not easy to fix because it's a mess from the beginning. Sean said it right. If the underlying bones are rotten, nothing can fix it. Uh, new update today. It doesn't matter, Revelator, because... What matters in life, honestly, nowadays? Um, new patch... Apparently came out, but they didn't put any information about it, so I don't know what that's about. Online active. It well, it sucks that no one plays. It's a fun game. Mm, uh, press X to doubt. Is this game abandoned? Yeah, of course it is. The developers are not going to spend the rest of their life trying to fix a broken game. Draymion, another smart person. See, Souls-like game attracts smart people. They are asking, camera auto-adjust. The camera auto-adjust of this game is very stuttery. I'm not sure why. I don't think it's acceptable for any game to have stuttery controls like this. Because the camera is always fighting the player. How is the camera auto-adjusting a quality of life? It's terrible. Any way to prevent it from auto-adjusting behind the character, some in the edit or something. Oh, interesting. Apparently, this is a feature they added because I'm gonna guess they couldn't figure out something about the camera. So the developers, instead of fixing things, they just put in the camera auto-adjust function automatically to be always active. Very interesting choice. Worst Souls-like of all time, 32 comments. <laughs> um, yeah, this game is not getting any praise. Uh, Duliman, the spiritual successor to Dollman, says, Are you serious? Sorry to dear developers, but Quake from 99 looks better. Okay, now we're exaggerating. Graphics bad, animation bad, the whole game is a joke, but because joke is a price. Oh, right, I didn't look at the price. So apparently the game is about 50 Canadian dollars. Um, yeah, it's about 40 American. This is a very expensive game. I'm just going to say that much. I wouldn't take it if you paid me for it. It's fun and the graphics aren't as bad as, as Old Mate, you're saying. Gameplay is kind of a cross between Hellpoint and Mortal Unchained, but better. I mean, I agree it's not that bad, but at the same time, it's not that good. Uh, Jiggy007, the Anima Boy, says, From what I watched so far, the animations could be a hidden gem. 
And apparently they are very clever. Why do this focus a lot on physics? The heavier body, the slower it is its movement. Are we speaking about the same physics where you hit an enemy and it falls down slowly? L like an enemy that's floating? An enemy can float on a platform if you keep on hitting them off the platform. They will like keep on floating until you stop hitting them and then they fall. You could see it with a weighted monster. Okay, you're talking about animations, man, not physics. Some of the main character weapons also big and heavy, making make it swing slower. This is not what this person was saying. I don't worry defending the game. I think it's intended pretty interesting. No, it isn't. It's just a whole different feeding, feeling. Even since even I'm not used to this kind of different animation pace. Just use the gun and shut the fuck up. I like, I like how some people are defending the wrong points about the game. I don't think they're reading what other people say. This game disappointed me a lot and I'm a big fan of Souls like. Okay, so am I. This is life, man. 90% of Souls like games are trash. Catgirl Gaming says maybe they should have considered the way Nicky Derma is pronounced. The I and E's the I the I's and E as E's don't exactly help the voice acting. Um Yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> uh, tier 3 invisible. Uh Chicken Block says. Pre-order weapons disappear on death. Anyone else has the issue where pre-order weapon acts turns to normal acts after death? Amazing. Apparently. Ah, I see one of the developers is a, is, a, is a weeb. That explains a lot about the quality of the game. Apparently, I don't know if this got fixed. I'm not sure. But apparently, um, you can lose your pre-order weapons after death. They change the skin. I don't know why this is a thing, but you just wasted your money, essentially, if you play this game from... <laughs> even even fans of this game are getting fucked over if they play it. Um, This is the same price as Elden Ring pre-order. Um, I don't know about this, but this is interesting if this game was the same price as Elden Ring on pre-order. Very interesting choice to make. I guess they thought their game was worth more than a game studio that has hundreds of employees working 24-7 somehow. <laughs> what are dome and crystals used for? Nothing. They're used for my nightmares. That's what. <laughs> what else? Okay, nothing. Dolmen is a very unfortunate name in Sweden. Why? Misriel, the Lord of the Rings fan, says, uh, Dolmen in Swedish means massive dick. Well, it fits the game perfectly. This is the first I've heard of a game, so I, can say, uh, so I can't say if it's good or not. Well, trust me, it's not good. It's not a good big dick. But still, I just want to give you guys a fair bit of warning regarding the name. Well, Mestrel, not everybody's gonna care about every single country and their naming convention now, huh? Lol, ha ha. Hi there, Mestrel, says one of the developers who is a cat. Thank you for let letting, letting us know about it. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it's hard to get a good sounding and meaning name out of all languages. Ha ha. I mean, you guys could have literally called it Doll Man. Literally. Um you know, a, a wordplay and made the story better, but instead you went with this, whatever. Please come into our Discord to follow Dolvman's development. <laughs> what? My dude, the guy is just making a comment for funsies and you guys are inviting him to Discord? What is wrong with you? The hacker known as 4chan Skidrow says, you have to change the name for Sweden to Dawson, but then another prob... Because means to snooze in German. Stupid name for an action game. Even Massive Dick would fit it better. Alright. But does the Dolman have the Dolman energy? Okay. So so remember this. Every joke I made about the Dolman means Massive Dick. Okay. So my girl had a Massive Dick taking down the Dolman. All they were, they were just dicks everywhere. Okay, man. Massive Dicks everywhere. Excellent. Okay. Time for the, for, time for the Kickstarter. Let's see. Um, they wanted fifteen thousand dollars. They got five hundred and fifty-eight backers, and they got twenty thousand dollars only. Well, not only they fixed it. Well, not they fixed it. They got it. Well, not they got it. They did whatever. And apparently, they were expecting to get all the way to three hundred thousand dollars somehow, and include new level and enemies and weapons, which I really doubt they could do it. Let's see. For one dollar, one whole dollar. You want to help but don't have the money right now? No problem. Help the game development and get your name in the credits as a special thank you. For one whole dollar, you can get the developers to tell you thank you, I guess. 
Like, let's say 40 American dollars, you're spending $41 to get the same game, but with a thank you in the credits. I don't even know why this is a thing. For $10, you're not ready to commit to Dolman, but want to be... You're not ready to commit to a massive dick, but want to be ready for what it has to throw at you. <laughs> this is the tier for you. Special thanks in the credits. A whole digital wallpaper. Get a pack of exclusively made wallpapers. <laughs> what kind of wallpapers? At least give an idea. And the digital soundtrack. Get access to the Dolman soundtrack. Um... Uh, is the soundtrack available for sale? No, for some reason, but you can get it here. 20 American dollars, the powered engine. Here's where the game starts. You get access to the private Discord backer area. The game, you get a digital copy of Dolman, which is actually good value at $20. I, I mean, I don't think it's good. The game is good enough for $20, but at least why not simply make the game $20 then? What the fuck is this bullshit? Special thanks to the credits, digital wallpapers, get a pack of wallpapers, and the soundtrack again. For $30, the avid one. Private Discord, special thanks to the credits, two weapon skins that are Kickstarter exclusive, and one armor skin. I don't know why you don't put them as DLC here, but what the fuck do I know about games? That digital summoning for 40 whole dollars. The game. The Discord, the special thanks, the skins, the digital wallpapers, the digital art book to the amazing art of Dahl, man. Hopefully you win the game and not Swedish massive dicks now, huh? And for a hundred, we went from 40 all the way to 115. Because we are prime hunters. A pack that hunts together and survives together. Remember, you're becoming friends with the developer at this point. You're paying for the friendship. The private Discord. The game! You get four copies of the game, so you lose friends. That's why you become friends with the developers, because then you lose friends when you give them copies of this game. The digital wallpapers. You get four! Four whole wallpapers! You get four downloads of the soundtrack! It's not like you can just copy them! It's not like you can cop control C control. It's not like man, what is this NFTs? Digital NFT art books? What is this? How? Oh, what? What? I can understand if you get like four copies of a Vinley, or like a poster, or like an art book, a physical art book. But we're talking about digital. What they send you four download links. Each one is slightly different with their own NFT code. You also get. Four times downloads of all Kickstarter exclusive skins. So remember, if you die more than four times, you lose the skins, okay? And a t-shirt. A Kickstarter exclusive t-shirt. I like how the 40 thing, they multiply everything by four times to pretend it's digital content, man. What are you providing four times of? You're giving the permission to download the same file four times? Is that what's happening here? Thank you so much for that. Oh, four people did it. Wow. Um, uh, where there's like four boomers who don't know how four times copy and paste works. Uh, here. Hold on. Um, where is it? There. I just got four, I just got a second, hold on. No, wait, uh, yeah, no, hold on, I got this correctly. I, I gotta really rub it in, you know? <laughs> there! I have... I have 21, I have 18 copies of the game. I have 18 copies of the soundtrack. I hope the developers don't find and sue me. For $200, the ultimate seeker! Knowledge is what you seek, and here Revion Prime Seekers shall be explored. You get access to the private Discord backer area. The game. You get a digital copy of the game. Special thanks and credits. Two weapon skins, one armor skin, digital wallpapers, digital soundtrack, a poster depicting the beautiful world of Revion Prime, physical art book, you'll receive an art book, not four, don't expect too much, only one, okay? A t-shirt, a Kickstarter exclusive t-shirt, the digital comic, not physical. Digital. 
You receive a digital download of the comic, not not even the four times of these. I guess the four times links are not good enough. You get two t-shirts. You get a t-shirt and another two t-shirts. So a total of three t-shirts. I guess they couldn't write three t-shirts. It might look weird, you know, so they had to divide them up. This t-shirt is for you. This t-shirt is for anybody in your family you don't like anymore. And you want to give it to them so they leave you alone. And they will ship anywhere in the world, by the way. So yeah, if you live in somewhere... I don't know, in Poland, and you want this game, um, yeah, you have to pay $200. Congratulations. You pledge $500 or more. Tier 9 Ascension Collector's Edition. Revian Prime doesn't scare you, and you're here to hold your trophies high. The enemies of Ravian Prime will learn to fear you soon enough. You get Private Discord Backer. The game. Special thanks. Two skins, one armor skin, digital wallpaper, digital soundtrack, a poster, physical art book, a coffee mug, a mug featuring the Dollman logo. Do you think they put in the R? If they don't put in the R, it's a ripoff. The comic book. You received a physical edition of the comic book and not even the digital copy as a backup because fuck you, that's why. And... The Cutlower statue, a 20 centimeter statue of the Cutlower, um, which I think was the, was it the worm or is it the Star Wars rhinoceros? I don't remember. But you received the 20 centimeter of the Cutlower because that's what our fans are, giant dolmen that are 20 centimeters big. And two times the t-shirt after... Are they giving you less? Where's a t-shirt? Ah, they removed the t-shirt to give you a mug. What? Hey, at least you know if you live in Afghanistan, you can order for $500 so they'd send it to you. For double the price. By the way, they keep on doubling the price every time. For double the price and double the pleasure. One thousand! Minted American Dollars! You get Tier 10 the Dolman Weaponsmith! Leave your mark inside the game. Ew! Helping us create a unique weapon that'll be crafted and used by the game character. You'll work alongside our art team to create an item that fits the world of Ravian Prime. Because, you know, weapon creation is very hard. Create a weapon! Help create an unique weapon for the game and receive a real 3D printed version of the weapon. 15 centimeters! Smaller than the Walter statue. The creation can be an uh, be illustration made by yourself or just a text briefing and our artist will do the rest. Shipping included! Plus everything from the Ascension Collector's tier. You're paying an extra... $500! Just for one model that will take an artist an afternoon to do. At least you get people that don't buy the game to notice you, I guess, for five minutes. <laughs> wow, man! Uh, what are we doing? Renting out apartments now? For 2,000 American dollars if you'd want to break up with your wife or husband and get a divorce. Tier 11, the Domin Smith. Leave your mark inside the game once more like a goddamn pervert. You work alongside our art team and create an armor set. Help create a unique armor set and you receive the 20 centimeter version. But you don't get the weapon. Someone actually bought this. Did someone also buy this? No, good. But hey, you don't even get the weapon now. Right? You don't realize I can just go on. 3D.com and download any kind of armor for like $50, right, developers? I don't think your artists are good enough to be charging $2,000 for a custom-made armor. That's not how it works in the video game industry, but what do I know? Uh, by the way, um, after all of this, after $2,000, let's go, let's, you know, let's calm down for a second. Let's go back to $15. For $15, you get the early engine. You shut up early, here's your prize. You got the copy of the game? Um, ah, this is why this is like at the end. Oh, because the reward is also not available. Okay, so this was the best value. You could get, you, you could get this game for $15. And they removed it. Or $30.
and you get stuff. And $60. And you get a lot of trash again. And that's it. They had a period of 35 days to fund the game. Excellent. New reactor, new features. Uh, 55,000 for the female character. They already had a female character. I'm gonna guess when they say female character, they mean her butt exposed, which they cover up again. Character customization. You, you guys already put in, like, less effort than needed. Man, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, look at the sexy aliens doing sexy alien stuff, man. They're so sexy, honestly. These fucking aliens, man. They really get me off. Okay, well, g 2 g uh, thank you so much, Dolman. Oh yeah, let me look at the reviews, what people are saying, technically. Uh, Tamaster. Oh yeah, it's the, it's the Sonic guy. The damaged Sonic. Let's see, what are they saying? Pros of the game. Some clever combat mechanics that prove interesting to use to give the system uniqueness to the extent. I agree with this at the start, because it works, but by the end of the game, the enemies have, like, so much resistance that, unfortunately... The interesting mechanic doesn't work, and you end up using it just as a, as a damage amp, as a, and an extra amount of, uh, what do you call it, an extra amount of stamina. That's about it. Nothing else. Wide variety of enemies with unique moveset, quirks, and abilities. No, I disagree with this. Every single enemy was the same. Their patterns are broken. They're distance based. They're all vision based as well. They all work the same, except as soon as you. Uh, as soon as you even try to play them one-on-one one -on -one fair, the enemies... The enemies don't have quirks, honestly. Like, everything was so pointless, especially when they don't stop attacking, especially the fire guys from Code Vein. Good art direction. Each area feels unique and well-constructed visually. Yeah, I guess we have to compliment the artist, at least, for that. You know, that's about it. In, in terms of actual level design, it wasn't that great. The, the level design itself, especially when it led to nowhere 90% of the time. Uh, serious balance issues with the classes and builds. Range is OP. Um, I agree because range apparently is how you proc things. It's OP because uh, they didn't account for DPS on the weapons. Except once again, near the end. Near the end when the bosses are basically like so hyper immune to like the range weapons build up of the status that... It makes it pointless. But also what I found really interesting is like the range. The range is OP, but also not at the same time because, because the game is switching states. So half of the time if you dodge and you don't dodge again immediately, your character puts up the gun. During that time of them putting up the gun, you can't dodge again. You don't have iframes. You can't do anything. And you are going to get hit by a lingering hitbox at that point. Uh, because of the bugginess of the range attack, it's what what you'd call balanced in the industry, I guess. A uh, two-handed weapon is just a DPS downgrade. This is 100% objectively right. If even a single-handed weapon is slower compared to the axe, even by a little bit, it's already a damage downgrade. Uh, because of how fast the enemies attacks, they'll stun lock you and kill you immediately. Uh, ironically enough, the two-handed weapon, Jewel of the Stars was just a pre-made, ready, OP weapon in the game that you can just get, like, I think halfway through the game or something. That's the only weapon that is worth anything other than the axes. Uh, Duel has a horrendous moveset. Um, that is right. Uh, mo mostly because, again, it's buggy. Because if you don't press your attack button immediately and time your dodges, you're gonna be stuck in animations or you're gonna do that stupid one attack, one attack animation every time. One hand shield is just plain. This is unfortunate. The most plain, the most plain stuff is the most efficient one. Mechanically shallow, many features customary to the Souls genre, emaciated or downright absent. This is true. 100% true. This is just, everything was just so perfunctory because the basics of the game were not taught out. The developers just made the game and they didn't think about the basics. This, uh, this makes progression, combat, to build crafting too simplistic, but also useless. Because the numbers are pathetic. I mean, I mean, for fuck's sake. Just remember the, the gun, the, the fire guns. They barely do no damage. Except the last one near the end of the boss. But the boss is immune to fire. Well, not immune. Like, he's not weak against it. So you want to use acid. Story lore and characters feels insipid and cliche. That's because the devs are just lore bankrupt. They just copied everything from every other game and movie. 
It never hooks at you at any point, leaves a sour taste, aftertaste, once the credits roll. Boring level design. The results were too linear for the genre. Um, this honestly doesn't matter for me. With only two hidden option areas in total and nothing else of interest, find or get excited at any point. This is honestly not a problem for an indie dev. Uh, but I think you need to emphasize that the hidden optional areas are also pointless. Because you can only craft the weapons once. Because they give the parts. Again, this is what I mean. The developers didn't think this through. They should have made like they give you two blueprints to complete the blueprint. And then you can craft the weapon as many times as you want. Instead, they gave you parts. Again... Apparently, during Kickstarter all the way here, they didn't think about that. Disappointing co-op system design. Not only does it require random consumable drops to function. Uh, that's what they said in the update, but I think they removed this function. But it is also restricted to bosses only. Oh, interesting. You can only co-op at bosses. What is that? Okay, wait. So when the game came out, you had to use consumables? The Dolmens? To fight a boss online with a friend? Why even put in this feature then? Uh, wow, okay, okay, wow, wow, this is so bad actually, this is, wow, uh, I mean, how, how did they not think about this? Uh, Tainted Flesh says that apparently the game is, they see the word jank, but it runs fine. Again, when people say jank, they mean in terms of gameplay, story, like stuff like that. They don't mean like it runs fine. You know, that's not about like like the performance of the game. Camera will get you killed abnormally more often and targeting during the queen is frustrating. Um, the targeting is broken throughout the entire game. It barely works and the camera is juttery because it's auto-correcting every time. But aside from that, one of the better souls like out there a bit short and price a bit steep. No, not really. I played better than this, so shut the fuck up. Ah! Where have all the doll men gone? Man, I don't know, cat. I don't know. Where have all the doll men gone? Uh, Ross, someone who clearly is friends with the developer, says, This game is a visual marvel on epic settings with ray tracing and runs excellent. Never mind, this person got the new graphic cards and they're happy for ray tracing. Just like your typical NVIDIA fanboy, they don't actually care about gameplay. The combat is dope. Not really. The level design is pretty neat. The guns could be bare, but are sufficient that I've crafted one. No, the guns are OP pretty much. Also, you can look like a skinny master chief. Lol. No, you don't. You look like a shit brick house. If you, if you like the sci-fi, this is a cool souls light switching between melee and gun plays good and balanced. Have you played the game? I don't think you did. I don't think you finished it, actually. Uh, this is a game where enemies are going to kill you, but it's also a game where you can kill mobs before going down. I'm not having sex with them, what are you talking about? I'm early in, only raised a few characteristics and crafted a few pieces of armor and weapon, but the game is worth the pickup. Update now that I'm around 8 hours in the game, it's just simple souls like light fun, and the extra perks for the armor are very cool. Is it, Ross? Is it? Did you actually get anywhere in the game? I'm asking for a friend, because, uh... How do you get how do you deal with the enemies that are just spinning their neon lightsabers every few seconds? Prime Matter has been taking chances on small companies and I've been enjoying the takes on their chances. Are they AAA? No, but not many are. This doesn't mean anything. This is clearly one of the developers talking about the game. God. Uh, so so the reason I just wanted to say something else, by the way. Um honestly, it like it's this game. Like, I just want to make this clear. I also think Code Vein, Elementite, this game, and Dolmen, they are using the same blueprint for several reasons. First of all, A, you see this over here? The bar. First of all, the bar. I also think Code Vein, Dolmen, and Elementite are using the same whatever blueprint system it is to make the gameplay happen. Because they're literally using the same system. And I know I've seen the system in another game. All I just want to say is, why are developers doing Souls-like games? Using this exact system. Of like some weapons. You have a sword that does acid, but not the same sword that does fire. And you have to change the moveset. And then you have to keep on, like, switching between elementals to do damage. 
in cold vein um if you have the wrong element you do like less damage and if you stack elements you do almost no damage because of a bug because the reason i'm saying this is because it feels like all of them have the same bug it feels like there's a bug inside them that whoever was in charge whoever was in charge of like making these games they forgot that bug in the game with the elemental system that barely ends up working because it's almost like cold vein like the scaling system especially it's it's basically nonsensical that's why i'm saying this it feels like these three games are sharing a base framework between them that's what i feel like these three games are sharing a base framework but yeah it also reminded me a lot of elementite honestly it's it's ridiculous and i think the developer is supposed to be from brazil as well i wonder if this guy actually worked on dolmen Hello. that'll be hilarious if that happened man also expensive as well this one <laughs> jesus christ man okay that's all i had to say man that's all i had to say i honestly think I also think these three games are all using the same Unreal basic blueprint or something. Beca because this entire Switch Elemental thing, I don't know where it's coming from. Even that other game, Curse of Eternity, was another game that you had to keep on juggling elemental damage. This is honestly getting annoying. Your game, a Souls-like game, cannot be a fucking Diablo-like, where you keep on juggling elements. Even Neo didn't do that much, but yeah. God. All these expensive Souls-like game, and they just keep on buying time with juggling elements against enemies. It's honestly getting ridiculous. What the fuck do I know apparently about games? Uh, okay. Anyways, on that note, nighty night, sleepy tight peeps, I'm outie outie outie. Take care of it, bye bye, stay safe, don't let anyone bite you unless you want them to bite you. And of course...